Greetings and salutations, my dear audience. This is Joe St. Egg Benedictus coming at you with a video of a uh, vintage uh, Bible and book haul. Vintage Bible book, not vintage Bible and book, vintage Bible book haul. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these and I'm super excited about it. Um, just want to give a shout out to my pal Mike and to all the visionaries and mystics out there. Thank you for joining me. One of the first things that you'll notice is that my desk has shrunk. Let, let me show you this if I can. This this is the result of my desk right here. That's it. Now, I don't know if you've been watching this channel for a really long time, but if you have been, you know that my desk was, uh, you know, good size. I do most of my filming there, but we had a downsize, and so I have been desk emasculated. Is that the right word? Emasculated desk? I basically have a corner, and that's really it. This is really the extent of it. It goes from there to there, and that's really it. I mean, I still have some of my toys, but even that's, you know, limited. So, anyhow, that's the first thing you'll notice. Okay, so, um, got some books from the used bookstore today, and I'm excited about going through them with friends. One of the things I want to do is, because I don't have a lot of room, I'm going to move this keyboard to the back here and make sure that that doesn't break there and over here. Uh-oh. There, over there. Put this pencil in here. All right. So let's go through them and see what we have, shall we? All right. All right. Okay. And then I got a book over here. Okay. First things first. A wee little book. Our Faith in the Bible, The Advance for Christ and His Church. Uh, I picked this up. Oh, I should mention that everything today was half off of nonfiction. So I probably would have not have purchased all this if it was full price, even though like this was like a quarter, but now it's like 10 cents. Anyhow, I uh, think, you know, with all the Bible fans that we have around here, I thought this might be interesting. Maybe give it as a thought gift down the road. And uh, just really look through it. 1949 is the copyright date. But just really just went through this and I thought, you know, this would be a great uh, little gift for a care package. I can slide it in an envelope and send it off. So I'll read it and then end up mailing it to some somebody. Anyway, I like that. Okay, next is a little book on Revelation, Chronology of the Apocalypse by Bar Gary Cohen. I don't know who Gary Cohen is. It just says here that um, Presbyterian minister, uh, chaplain for the Pennsylvania National Guard, oh, professor of New Testament at uh, Faith Theological Seminary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm always picking up odd books on Revelation. I try to stay away from like the weird uh, dispensationalist ones, but look at this cover art. Look at that. That is really super neat and thought this would be great to add to my revelation collection. All right. Look at that. The original price was a dollar. I got it for a quarter. Um, let's see here. You know, I'm thinking if this is the original price was a dollar back in the day, that might've been kind of pricey, pricey book. Maybe that was normal. 1968 is the copyright date. Look at how nice and yellow these sheets are. It's pretty aged, but I like it. Oh, what's that? Let's see here. Uh, shafts outline, the periods of church history, history of Asian Christianity. Okay. So, pretty neat. Nothing else special, just very aged, but... Man, look at that cover. Is that a beauty or what? And that font. All right. Moving on. Reading uh, the New Testament by, is that Feeney Perkins? Feeney Perkins, second edition. I got this because it's an introduction on the New Testament, which you'd think I would have, but I really don't have many introductions in the New Testament. Most of my introductions are in the Old Testament. And I really like introductions because they give you kind of uh, quips or like... Um, little quotations that you can use in sermons and in Sunday school materials and things like that. And so um, that, that's nice uh, illustration there. I already showed you that uh, illustration there at Corinth. So I always like, 
I like introductions. You know, I'm a big fan of introductions, you know, and uh, when you're preaching an introduction, I'll do, ooh, a treasure. Let's see, Hearthstone Books, Vermont. I always like used books, you get little treasures. All right, so this uh, author, Femi Perkins, is professor of theology at Boston College, received her PhD in New Testament and Christian origins from Harvard University, served as president of the Catholic Biblical Association in New England, Paulus Press, which is also Catholic. I thought, man, so I, I you know, I didn't just pick these up and get them. I, I flipped through them because I don't have a lot of room for just fluff, and I found that to be very interesting. Put that right there. Next is the uh, Navari Bible Commentary. I've been collecting these. I may actually have this one, the Thessalonians and Pastoral Epistles, but since it was only 50 cents, it was a dollar but half off, 50 cents, I figured I'd get it, and for 50 cents it's worth at least shooting for or trying for um, uh, to fill in my my Navari Bible, Bible Commentary. So... You know, I collect these, and we'll see if I have it. The next one I thought was pretty is pretty awesome, uh, primarily because look at this age, the Windsor Sermons by Alec Vidler. Vidler, nice dust cover. Uh, let's see here. All right, so open up the dust jacket. Believes that it is a matter of regret that so few contemporary sermons are published. He would like to see in print, not sermons by prelates and professors, but ordinary sermons such as have been delivered week by week to ordinary congregations by ordinary clergymen. Here, here, sir. All right, let's see the date. Can we get there? Date is 1958. Just your collection of sermons, different books and different topics. Uh, let's see. And there you go. Other books by Alec Vidler, Vidler. I wonder if it says who he is. Um, let's see. Mostly, Dr. Vidler was canon of Windsor, uh, that's and fellow and dean of King's College, Cambridge. So there you go. Pretty neat. All right, so I'll be reading that maybe in night time. This one is a pickup for a friend. This is a book, uh, Religion in the Making, by Alfred North Whitehead, Cambridge Publishers. This one is printed in 1979. Or 1929, I'm sorry. So, the Lauer Lectures, 1926. And I believe that this was published in 1929. 1927, there you go. And uh, Alfred North Whitehead is, is the father of process theology, which uh, assumes that since the future cannot be known, since it hasn't happened yet, then God doesn't know the future. And you say, well, God is all-knowing, but if the future has yet to happen, he's still all-knowing. Um, but, um, uh, but God is a good predictor of human behavior, of systems and societies, and God knows what God is going to do in the future. So uh, the uh, evangelical kind of um, cousin to this theology is uh, open theism, I believe it's called. Um, and Alfred North Whitehead was a philosopher who kind of steered in that direction and really brought to bear modernist science on religion. And uh, my friend, uh, a good friend of mine, very close friend of mine, is a Whitehead, not a Whitehead scholar, but she studied Alfred North Whitehead. And so for a 1927 find of lecture series, I thought, hey, why not? I'll send it to her and uh, get that in the mail to her. I kind of like that. Uh, next up, A.M. Hunter on the Design for Life, the Sermon on the Mount. Always looking for some good studies on the Sermon on the Mount. You know, these thin books are great because uh, you can get through them fast. They're good for reference, and you really don't need big honking books to do sermon prep or Bible study prep. You really just need a good collection of a wide variety of, of things like this. So this is on the Sermon on the Mount. Um, I uh, got this as a, as a gift for my wife. So this is going to be her prize. I am Hunter, graduate of Glasgow University and uh, Mansfield College, Oxford. So um, there you go. He got a, He has a little endorsement by Barclay. Um, so the, there you go. What is what's the date on this? I think I already said it. 1960, January 1960 is the is the printing. So a neat little book. It's for my wife. I'm gonna put it over here. 
Set it over here for my wife. All right, now for more North Whitehead. And then the last book is a ditty that I really, I was wondering if I should buy this or not, and I thought, hey, with a cover like this, I mean, this one is awesome. Look at that. What it really means to give your life to Christ by C. Uri Horn. For it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. Um, so then every one of us shall give an account, give account of himself to God. Look at that Bible art. Is that something or what? Nice and thin. It's a papery, cardstocky thing. Uh, stapled. I don't know if you can see that. But look at that. What a treasure. 1952. Southwestern Bible Institute Press, Waxahachie, Texas. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, there's a beautiful picture of C. E. Rehorn. You know, that's a hoot. You know, this is like, um, I'm assuming maybe he was a televangelist. And, you know, you need to have his picture if you went to one of his revivals to remember who inspired you to come to the Lord. Uh, First Assembly of God. So Assemblies of God, uh, I guess. Uh, World of the Assemblies of God. And uh, you can win. Sounds kind of televangelist, right? Learning about Christ. Uh, let's see what other headings there are. Uh, let's see, what's that? What it really means to come to Christ. So, the need for fellowship. So let's say studying Bible doctrine. Man, what a great, what a great book. Suggested outline for the study of Bible doctrine. The nature of doctrine, the value of doctrine. Scriptures, God, angels, Christ, the atonement, salvation, the Holy Spirit, the church. Try to hold that as best I can without my desk. I, don't, I still haven't figured out my camera set up yet. Terrors among the wheats. By now, do you know? Do you feel in your own mind you have the knowledge and confidence to make a church choice? Pretty neat, I think. Is that great or what? Awesome. So anyhow, that's my find for this time around. Uh, and it was really good. I, you know, I go to the used bookstore every week. It's kind of my bike ride Saturday event. And I go and I hang out and usually uh, picnic there with some friends who are uh, part of the book drop off and really just love to do that. And when it's half off, I, I really look hard, but some of these books I've never seen before when I was looking. So with the half off sale and some of these newer books, I kind of struck gold. Hey, thanks for joining me. So glad you're with me. Hope the camera angle wasn't too funky. I got to watch it, see how it turns out. I'll publish it one way or another. I don't like to do videos over again. It is what it is, dude. Uh, like, subscribe, subscribe, and uh, be sure to join us.